Afternoon everybody, welcome back. We're back out here on my home lake. It's a Saturday afternoon, it's like 15 degrees out. There's a good five inches of fresh powder on top of the lake. Makes it a little tougher for walking for my fat butt, but I need it, so. Can't be all bad, right? It's a uh, little after noon, I think, and I'm a little hungry, so today, I brought a stove with me and I am going to do my first ever catch clean cook on the ice. First one ever and then I'm going to do it on the ice. So hopefully it turns out, hopefully I can get some good ones and they'll at least worth eating and hopefully I don't go hungry. All right guys, I got to get my butt all the way across the lake to my spot and I'll see you guys there. All right, we'll take a break here. Set the stove down. Punch us a hole. Holy hell. There's like eight, 10 inches of ice there. Holy cow. That's not what I was expecting. It was like negative 11 out last night. So hopefully that didn't affect the fish too much, at least the bite, you know? Ooh, about to dump the minners. Nine feet. Looks like there might be something sitting on bottom, so. Didn't find the hole. Don't usually have that problem. The old tip up. Get that going here soon. Try and maximize our chances of catching us something to eat. There ain't nothing down there. This isn't a darn thing. Wait, there's something. Ooh, something nice. Decent, at least. There they are. They just appeared. And gone, just like that. They clean me? No, he's hanging on by a thread, though. Should toss another waxy on there. Bet they're seeing the hook points and they're just dipping. Don't want a darn thing to do with those. Is that bad boy on there? Now there's walleye in this lake. There's bowfin in this lake. There is a literal buttload of nice sized bass. I've never had walleye before, so if I could catch that guy again, he was big. I want to say he was like a, he was over a 20 inch walleye. That one. Oh, psh. Use you for freaking bait, buddy. I don't even know what you were thinking. Look at this thing. He chonky though. A little chody boy. This hole, freaking dead, man. Lame. Right. I'll turn this lake into Swiss cheese if I have to. 
I'll find me some fish. I'm hungry. Ready to eat. Jig it right above bottom, about a foot off bottom, see if anything will peel up off there. I don't know what you guys are looking at. Can you see? A little crooked? Am I too fat? Guts in the way? There's a nice mark. Come on, Bubba, you know you want it. Come to daddy. Oh, the flag went up. I didn't see it. It's not spinning. But, of course, last time, I don't know if it was last time or one, one of these times, it was just sitting down there within its mouth. So, I guess let's see. Yep, there's something on there. Let's see what it is. Oh, a little bass. And there's my minnow. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling he was just sitting down there with it in his mouth. That's the second bass that has done that. Come on, bud. It's hooked right in the skin. My hemos are tucked away. All right, I gotta get them. I don't wanna have this guy out for too awful long. Yeah. And this dude, like, he's kinda long and stuff, but He's got a little meat on his bones. I don't even think he's big enough to eat. I got my measure tape right here in my pocket. They have to be 14 inches here in Michigan to keep. I'm sure you guys can see. Frosty the bass man here. Come on. Chill. Settle. Settle down. I know. You're freezing. You're cold. I am too. Whoop. Nope. Not even close. All right, Mr. Icicle Bass. Shake you off one time. One last look, brother, and back you go. I got the tip-up line all around my camera. Oh, first fish. No eater, but I'll take him. Got the white stripe off my back for the day. I just left my rod in the water back there. Oops. I pulled a lot of line out here. And I still didn't bring my mitt on it. Oh, I got wet hands anyways. Chunky boy. All right, dead stick time.
wrapped up in my battery cable. The holder. Sitting on the bottom, bring them about that far. There. All set up. I have to tip up way to the left, and the dead stick rods all the way to my right. This ought to be interesting. Move to this side. Looks like a watch. I never think about it. I should be bringing a. Uh, oh, something's already hitting it. Oh, what's going on? Oh, got it. Holy crap. It almost pulled my rod in. Oh, I hope you guys saw that. What? Oh. What was that? I literally almost just lost my rod, you guys. What? As it was going down the hole, this thing sucked. That wasn't down there, but two minutes. Holy crap, you guys. I thought my rod was gone. I thought that was it. What just happened? I never think about it. I should be bringing a, uh, oh, something's already hitting it. Holy crap. Oh, and I was recording. Yes. I was dragging my rod. I snagged myself and I've been dragging my rod. What? Where am I snagged? Oh, right here in my knee. What the heck? It had to have been an absolute monster. Oh, it's crap. Dragging my other rod. Oh, wow. That was exciting. Where do I get your heart pumping? Oh, is it okay? Is my rod good? Reels packed with snow. It looks good. I'm just holy I don't even know what to think um and then he spit it I'm a little afraid to walk away wow Apparently I punched a hole in the right spot. Let's see if we can make that happen again. Never had to dive for a fishing rod before. Wow. I 
that's why you're supposed to leave your drag loose or your bail open but <laughs> my god I must spend the rest of the time my time just sitting here staring at that rod waiting for it to do do something and it's not gonna do anything so I just go about my business here my frozen snagged waxy Whoa. Keeps up like this. I'm gonna go home hungry. This is gonna be a big fail. Alright, good enough. I guess I'll try to go. Excuse me. Should put a jig on here. And just go for panfish with this and let the tip up and the dead stick rod go for the bigger fish. God, I wish I would knew I wouldn't know what that was. Something big. had it I felt decent too got him ooh he'll eat all right oh yeah I'm definitely gonna eat this guy it's on boys are you gonna be hungry Alright, let's get it back down there. Looks like there's more of his buddies. Oh, right, right in the snow. Oh, my waxy's just giving it the old dangle. Got one. Yeah, I think I might eat this guy too. He's big enough. Yeah, I'll get a little flays off him. Give my worm back. Apparently, the flag. Oh, just dumped my minnows. Apparently, the flag went off. While I was getting everything set up with the stove. Let's see what's on here. Looks like there's something on there. Let's see. Oh yeah. Stay on, buddy. Stay on. Oh, he took a lot of line out. Oh, a little bass again. I swear it's the same one. I think it is the same one, guys. Are you kidding? If you look, on the last fish I caught on the tip up, he had that same black spot right above his pectoral fin on his gill plate there. You're kidding me, dude. And I'm almost certain that's the same exact fish. I'm almost positive. I know he's probably not big enough to eat. set you guys up so you can see come on no can you just lay straight sir 13 inches it's literally the same exact fish guys I'm almost positive I'm gonna go back through and look but this looks exactly like that same fish. Uh, anyways, I can't have him. He's 13 inches. He's an inch too, inch too small. So back you go, bud. In, down. Good job. 
getting ready to set up the stove to start cleaning and cooking turned around and the flag was up and that same fish was on there i'm pretty sure he pulled a buttload of line out i wonder how long he had been like that he just took it and ran oh well i'm getting ready to shut her down for the night so whoops i'm gonna put the tip up away and get back to what i was doing okay guys we got our trio of bluegills here hybrids whatever the heck that is the thing still trips me out i mean look at the difference in these guys this guy's got a yellow spot he's got a yellow belly and this guy's over here looking like a basic bluegill a little frosty a little frozen but all right we're gonna start cleaning them scale at least for the most part there's one snow is cold does not feel good on my hands luckily it's just three little guys I get my hands warm and then fillet them up won't take me long at all I got a mess of nice bluegills from Menards when I was fish in there those things were delicious my kids just smashed them number three check him over he's good Try to get this junk out of here okay I'm gonna start filleting these bad boys behind it because there's snow piled up behind my fillet knife and I can't get it flat. Go through. Run it down the spine. I missed a little meat on him. Uh-oh. These little guys, I really try not to waste anything on them. I try not to waste anything anyways, but there's not a whole lot on these little guys. So you really want to Make sure you get everything. Okay, first fillet. Four. Oh, that guy's eye bulged out when I was scaling him. Oops, sorry, brother. Luckily, he was KO'd. How time that happened? My knife is getting slimed up and it's freezing and it's making it tough to cut through these. Five. Holy crap, this knife won't even cut anymore. Here's a different part of the blade. There, holy cow. Look at that. Uh, I mucked that one up. Oh, nothing I can do about that. Lays all done up. Some water. I'm gonna rinse them in. Half frozen water, but that's what I got. Cause I don't really feel like using lake water. So I'll just give them a little quick rinse. Shake off. Get the ice off of them. Sounds like my oil's about ready. I forget which brand, but it's some kind of a seasoned breading, or coating at least, for fish. I'm going to toss these bad boys in the bag. Just like that. Close it up. And then toss it. I know that's a lot of batter. Stuff, breading, whatever it's called, but uh, 
I didn't know what I was going to catch, how many I was going to catch. And I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, you know? All right, I put you guys up here so you guys can get kind of a overhead view. I'm going to get these suckers laid down in there. Hope that's not too much oil. Got you guys turned down too far there. Too many in there and cool the oil down too fast. I had to put my bucket here as a wind block. Did my stove quit on me? What the heck? What the heck happened here? Don't tell me. I have plenty of fuel. I know to bet it's too freaking cold. Now I got some heat building. I've had to sit here and hold my hand on this can of fuel to warm it up enough so I can get these suckers, suckers to start cooking. Get these last couple going in here. Now that I finally got my stove going enough. I think the other ones are pretty well cooked. Could spin it on me. You can see that goes. Did you hear the stove go out? That happens. Every time I take my hand off that bottle of butane for any amount of time. And then I'll fire back up. sometimes there it is and now it'll kick up and start sizzling but I have to keep my hand here normally I bring those uh, the hot hand warmers but I didn't bring any. I didn't think I need them I did not think this was gonna be an issue I knew that, you know, propane get cold, gets cold, butane gets cold, you got a lighter in your pocket or something, you know, it's freezing out, it won't light for crap, you got to warm it up in your hands. But I didn't think this can would do it, I think it figured it'd be you know, a little more insulated or... The temp is falling quick. I am going to pull the first batch of fillets off. Cool for a second. I don't have. I didn't bring a plate, not a single one. I didn't bring any utensils either. So, what I'm going to do is just set it on my oil container. There's four. I'll let those cool. And these are my lunch. Nice golden crispies. Let's see if I can break one of these guys apart for you guys. Nice and flaky, white. These are gonna be good. Here we go. I'm gonna try and keep my left hand on this thing, keep it going, and try some of these. That's pretty good. Nice, flaky, white. For little guys, they're tasty. And I'm afraid these ones, I take my hand off. They're definitely not going to cook properly. And I really don't want to waste them. Maybe that one's got a little tail on it. Mm. Mm. 
hot food on a cold day when you're freezing is amazing. It doesn't really matter what it is. It's good. A few more little fillets here. Little snack bites. Darn stove thing. I got this done just in time because it's getting dark. Our days are getting longer and longer, but we're still short on sunlight as far as you know fishing all day. You gotta get out pretty early. Alright guys. That's me my last one. Those were freaking delicious. I like that seasoning, whatever that was. I'm gonna have to remember what that was. And oh, there it goes. Well, I'm gonna get back to finishing these other two fillets because I don't want them to go to waste. They're kind of meaty, and I don't like wasting fish, especially when you kill an animal for it. So, all right, guys, finally got the last two pieces of fish done. It took forever. It's literally almost dark out now. gross I think that was a fin yummy a little rigid but it was fun thanks for watching guys first catch clean cook was a success almost lost my rod in the meantime that was fun pretty exciting <laughs> well if you guys enjoyed want to see more of these make sure you drop a like subscribe if you guys feel like it it helps me out and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's time for me to take my butt home, get warmed up. So I'll see you guys.